The relationship between artists and their art is complex because they feel driven to perform and create while at the same time having to deal with the challenges of everyday life. Acclaimed Bharatanatyam performer, choreographer and teacher Srimati Varishkapatha remains deeply grateful for the many ways in which her art enriches her life as I discovered when I spent some fascinating time with her recently. Tony Robbins says, when you're grateful, there is no fear. You cannot be fearful and grateful simultaneously. Srimati Varishkapatha is anything but fearful, and today I'm grateful to be spending some one-on-one -on -one time with her. Srimati Varishka. Hi, Zakia. What have I caught you in the middle of? Oh, I'm so inspired by our beautiful temple. I decided to do something on Lord Vishnu in my practice. What has Bharatanatyam given you? Bharatanatyam has given me everything that you see today. Where I've traveled and who I've met, it's because of Bharat Natyam. The universe has chosen my gurus, I believe that. And once you've tapped into that powerful energy of a guru, Sishya, amazing things happen. And with that, the opportunity to inspire ourselves and others happen. <laughs> Many people travel many journeys to find out what's their passion and what they'd love to do. I'm very grateful that the art has chosen me to serve it. Rishka, what has dancing taught you? To live life, to experience what is human excellence. My gurus live by three powerful Ds, discipline, devotion, and dedication. And I have really tried to live by that. It's not just learning something physical as a form of entertainment, but it's great lessons of life that we take with us. Why is it so important to pass this wisdom onto a younger generation? The greatest service one can do to the art is actually to share it and teach it. So now that I've moved into two senior batches that have graduated. That gives me an opportunity now to share my dance globally. Rishka, will you share some of your wisdom with me? I would love to. Thank you. Saki, I'm going to teach you the hand gestures of the shloka that I was doing earlier on. It's Vishnu, Shakti, Samutpane, Sarvavarnam, all over. You are known for your greatness, beautiful, gems, are treasures of the beautiful Mother Earth. It's to show lady to you. I bow. Rushka, do you still get nervous before you perform? Absolutely. Every artist has a little bit of butterflies before going to stage, and I think it's all good. It keeps us on our toes, and it just gives you that boost just before we get to stage. How do you prepare not only your body, but your mind for performances? I always leave my home and go to a different space to dress and just calm my mind. And all of this takes place for two hours before I actually step onto stage. How do you nourish your body and your soul? I read a lot. I listen to amazing music. I visit lots of places to inspire me. And once I start writing and I actually conceptualize the concept and the script, then I start training my body physically. Varushka, how important is your spiritual health as a dancer? I must have balance in all the aspects that's important to me. Being healthy, 
or being spiritual or being a dancer or being a mom and that will bring a heightened experience on its own. What is your motto in life? While freedom gives you that joy always, you're never dependent on any material experience to give you joy. The soul being free gives you complete freedom every moment of the day. What are you grateful for as a dancer? I'm very grateful that someone thought I was worthy enough to hold this in my hand for the abundance of love showered upon me to experience what is a divine form and share dance globally. Varushka, thank you so much for your warmth and generosity. Oh, thank you for your time with us, Sakya. Srimati Varushka Pathas courage is immense. I'm going to try to take a page out of her book because there's nothing worse than not trying.